Hi, um, fellow Pagans, Witches, and Stargazers. Today, I'm really excited because I, uh, showing you another haul today. Um, I believe this is, um, this is going to be the second one in a row for hauls. <laughs> I need to stop spending money. I need to save. But, you know, I <laughs> spending a shoe. Um, but I'm really excited, um, because, like, this morning wasn't so good, um, so yeah. I'm going to start off with, um, three books that I mentioned in my previous video that I didn't show you, because they weren't witchy, but I just wanted to show you, uh, now, because, you know, I bought more stuff. So, this book I've been wanting, um, a little bit longer than the other two books I just recently got. Well, for... I ordered all three of them from thrift books at the same time, um, and they were twenty dollars total, which is really cool. <laughs> um, but this is called <clears throat> King Warrior Magician Lover: Rediscovering the Archetypes of the Mature Masculine. And I haven't read it. Well, I read like the introduction. Um, and I already <laughs> have highlights. Um, but I have read up um, on some websites and stuff about some of the um, archetypes and what they are and stuff. And it improved my life. Like, I have bad memory. You probably know um, of remembering things. Duh. <laughs> um, but when I read up on them, I actually could remember for like a week or so of the different aspects of the King Magician warrior lover archetypes in myself and others to see how positive my actions were and emotions were and how negative they were too of myself and others so it kind of helped me um improve personally so um i finally i'm glad that i actually had the actual source material the actual physical copy but the thing is the authors wrote a single book i believe for every archetype but they have stopped making them, and they're thicker, and of course, out-of-print books are going to be expensive. Okay, and then this is, um, The Hero Within, Six Archetypes We Live By. And now these are just different archetypes than the book previous, but of course there's some archetypes that are going to be the same, because, you know, Magician and Warrior, they're archetypes that are going to be seen everywhere. And then, that author in the book has um, a bigger companion, I call a companion, to it, called Awakening the Heroes Within, 12 Archetypes to Help Us Find Ourselves and Transform Our World. So, it doubled in the archetypes, the amount of archetypes. And it has more information and... Um, if I remember correctly, both books have journaling prompts and stuff, which is fantastic for, you know, self-discovering and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, where is it? Because they're usually in the back, I believe, the questions of each chapter. Um, I guess this, the original one doesn't have journaling prompts but this one does and it's really cool um and it has exercises and daydream and stuff like that um for the full archetype um let's see right here um daydream and exercises give some thought on when where how and how much the fool uh ex expresses itself in your life I'm only going to read one question. But the first one is, how much or how little is the fool ex expressed in your life? Has it been expressed more in the past or present? Do you see it emerging more in your future? Is it expressed more at work, at home, with friends, in dreams, or fantasies? And of course, you know, like, you know, you have to read what the fool is about and stuff, the archetype. But yeah, it's interesting. And last video, I also showed you my 
green book, my green journal that I was going to use for that, for those books to help me remember and write down. And I told you that the day after that was, I was going to get another copy of that book and it arrived. I'm excited. Um, and I actually, um, like, I wrote the date of starting it, 5, 10, 20, 22. And I actually um, have wrote seven pages in this, which is pretty cool. They're all on the same topic. Um, uh, platonic solids and the elements. Um, the first night I did three pages, which was fun because, um, um, gosh, what's her name? Avalon Cameron was doing a live video of unboxing witchy boxes. And so I was listening to her um, and seeing what she was um, unboxing while um, writing in this. Like here's a couple pages. I like to write in pencil first. This is a tip, and it's a pretty darn good tip. If you want to write in your grimoire and you suck at spelling like I do or make mistakes, use pencil first. <laughs> because if you want it to be a bit more perfect, then you should use pencil. And I am also taking my time to write in it to have more. Um, prettier, neater, I should say, handwriting, because I write like a kindergarten, it looks like chicken scratch, so I'm taking my time, but the thing is, um, the second day, towards the end, my writing kind of got a little, <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to rewrite it too much, but I'm going to take my time and actually write it neatly, and I also used one of my uh, tarot cards, my extra uh, tarot card from the Mythical Creatures Tarot deck. Um, uh, the title card that it came with to um, make the line straight and as precise as possible. So, in the previous um, video, I also said that next time if I go to Fantasia Crystals, I would get that pendulum. And I believe I mentioned the Green Man uh, Suncatcher. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, I did go back last week. And the pendulum was still there. So here it is. Oh my god. Wait, sorry. It's upside down. The black and gray and white owl. With the silver. And with the um, snowflake obsidian. So I'm going to use this for... Athena. I don't really work with her, but I feel like I would work with her. Not necessarily as an archetype. Um, I guess so, in a way. Um, for more, like, um, like more, gosh, I don't know what to say. Um, more balance. Um, I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to say here, but um, anyways, I got that. And I got this um, really awesome looking um, green man. Okay. <laughs> I almost lost the uh, hook. But here it is. That's green man. Uh, Suncatcher. $21. I love it. My plan is to, uh, in my bedroom, I have a window. A decent sized window. And I'm thinking of moving my nightstand out of the way and get this three-tiered circular table that I have from my dad um, that's wooden and has really cool like kind of golden inlay on it um, it's in our shed and I want to put it in front of the <coughs> uh, window and I want to put this sun catcher and a um, beautiful um, hummingbird sun catcher that I got from Goodwill like three or four years ago um, and I want to do that as like a, um, like an altar setup. Um, and also just like, you know, just chill out and like drink some water and read some tarot cards and stuff like that. So that I hopefully I can do that soon. Um, 
so yeah. I'm gonna try to get like a um, somewhat daily practice in um, where I can like do my mudras and stuff like that. It would be nice to form a morning and nightly routine. I've thought of it, like I've like kind of created it, but I haven't applied it yet. But anyways, this was um, an interesting find. Um, so I wasn't planning on getting it because I guess I didn't really know it was there. Mm -hmm. Um, but a chron chronology of ancient Greece, which I immediately had to buy it because I've been wanting a physical copy of chronology of ancient Greece, but I guess it's not, um, the entire span which would be a really thick book. But um, the reason why I say that is because it says a brief overview of uh, Mycenae, Mycenaean, sorry, period. So that's kind of pre-Greek in the Greek islands, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, but I, I really want to learn more about that um, era in ancient Greece so that was pretty cool and cool find and it was amazing too I got a really great price for this because it says $39.95 for US so $40 but they had a sticker for $12 that's amazing so like of course I had to get it because there's no way I'm paying $40 for that <clears throat> but anyways um, I'm gonna put it all in just in case so I don't lose my pendulum. Um, and then I believe after that, um, me and my dad went back up to, um, the historic downtown, um, uh, Wickenburg, and we went to go get lunch there, um, because there's this restaurant. We literally just go there for their fries because they are immaculate. They're the, they're the best um, fries like in the world. But of course we order other <laughs> food from that place. But what the heck? Anyways, like I showed you in my previous uh, haul with the metal quail, they had a metal roadrunner. I love Roadrunners. They're so cool. They're so magical to me. Because they're rare to see. Um, but I don't know how other how many other people see them and how many times a year they see them. But I see them kind of frequently. Like in my opinion. Because um, I see at least two a year minimum. I've had um, for at least a year. I think it was like two years ago to where I've seen roughly five of them in a whole span of a year which is really cool um and so I would like to get this enchanted and stuff and then we went to this um Mexican uh pottery place that's um on the way to Wickenburg which I've been wanting to go to for years because it's been years since I've been there and we it's a big huge place big huge um, land and a big huge inside too and so we went around in a counterclockwise direction and at the end uh, in front of the countertop they had a table and they had a box a small box of wooden um, animal and cacti and stuff uh, wooden figurines and wooden um, figurines on keychains and I found a wooden roadrunner and at the um, and it's made in Mexico and so in the Native American shop they had these but they were like about an inch bigger and I just thought that was a bit too big um, so this is like basically the perfect size and so I would like to um, Try and work with the uh, and a roadrunner spirit, uh, 
which sorry, I just I get notifications on my laptop. I just got a comment on my previous Ochi haul. <laughs> Why is this funny? Uh, which I'm making right now. Anyways, um, I'd say like two days ago. Sorry, my foot keeps on falling asleep. So we went to the casino again, and I didn't have a good time. <laughs> um, I didn't technically win anything because my dad gives me a hundred dollars every time. Um, which is lucky for me, but, um, I, when I came out at, with $50, um, and I saw a shop in there, um, and I'm like, oh, hmm, let's just go in there. And they went in there, and the very first thing on the right were some books, um, about Native American stuff, and I got this book called, uh, Ocean Power, Poems from the Desert by this author. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I believe. Yeah. Her. Her name. And this is published by the University of Arizona Press. Um, so it has poems about nature and stuff. And literally the only, the main, well not only, the main reason why I got this is because it had a poem about storms. And surprisingly, the majority of these books had um, in their titles like rain and clouds, which is interesting. So of course I naturally had to look through the book because um, you know storm witch. Um, so it was interesting. So I got that. Um, and then yesterday, I, uh, my dad, unexpectedly said, "Hey, why don't we go to Barnes and Noble?" I said, okay, um, because we also need to go shopping. And surprisingly, they had the Cabalion, which I've been meaning to get, which is really cool. The Cabalion, uh, Hermetic Philosophy, Three Initiates, I don't know how to pronounce this word, Centenary Edition. I would guess that's like 100 years, um, because this physical copy was published 110 years after the original publication. Um, so it's nice. Gold. I... A few things. But, oh, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sorry. That was my mom uh, calling me. Because I... Because she's in an acute care facility right now for um, physical therapy. And the food sucks there. So she had me order some Subway that was near the area, and so she called me to tell her to tell me that she got it, and it was very delicious, so I'm happy about that. So anyways, a few um, gripes, I guess you would say, is that the cover, um, like the smaller um, wording is a bit, not the best quality. Because especially that, like, you can't really read that. Like, not even. <laughs> like, it's just, um, over, like, it's spread, spread out too much. And then, the back of the book had a huge sticker. Um, this was shrink-wrapped because the price tag was on the sticker. And I, I, I saw, um, Foolish Fish's, um... A video about this and a lot of people were griping that it was really hard to get off but I'm glad I was lucky that it was really easy to peel off for me but at the very top um, were a few of, um, of the paper left on so I just had to use my nails to get it off and it looks fine but the residue left over on the sticker as you can see is still there that needs to change. <laughs> um, it's really annoying. It already has hair and gunk all over it. And plus, somehow there's gold right here and right here. I don't know how that happened, but... <laughs> and this, the book, the spine, I don't know if you can see, but like it goes out and then comes back in and then out even more at the bottom. Which isn't a huge deal, but it's kind of 
not kind of like an eyesore, but anyways. And then here's another surprise. I found this book, um, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, which has been on my wish list for a few months. And um, surprisingly, I was looking up platonic solid information and stuff earlier this year. And I um, found a website that had the title, I guess, of The Secret Teachings of All Ages. And I saw it in my search history last night. I'm like, oh my god. I was technically reading this before I even had the physical copy. And so it's very lengthy. Um, and there's kind of in the middle, there's um, images on glossy paper. There's about 10 or 12 pages that are like this. Um, but yeah, I already bookmarked um, one page. And it was, um, let's see, it was um, an extract from the book of Dr. I think it's pronounced Faust, Wittenberg, 1524. And it's about, um, like, black magic and, yeah, black magic theory and practice of black magic. But I bookmarked it because it named a demon of about the seas and lakes and rivers and stuff. So I naturally bookmarked that because water is my shit. <laughs> um, but, like, here. Like, see? Those are the platonic solids. And I have wooden ones. Um, I actually, I'm trying to find two of them because my room got cleaned and the people did a shitty job to where they threw away shit that I just bought. <laughs> and I think the two are in trash bags. I'm still looking through them, through the trash bags. Um... So that's it for my haul. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, uh, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Uh, bye.